Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Sir Burns Live Team High Cloud, and today I'm bringing you actually a Fight Night Champion gameplay. Uh, I've actually had this game for a little while, actually, thanks to a friend of mine, because I let him borrow uh, EA Sports MMA and a copy of Halo Wars, because I, I normally have two or three copies of Halo Wars on me just because I play it so much. If a copy breaks, I like to be able to have it. Um, but I ended up letting him borrow uh, some of my games, and he let me borrow this, and. Uh, when I moved, we forgot to exchange our uh, games back, so essentially we stole each other's games, but we didn't really mean to, uh, but that's just how it ended up happening. But um, anyway, uh, this is actually a pretty fun game if you guys haven't played it before, but uh, I actually like a lot of these fighting games and stuff, but I actually like how this game works as opposed to some of the UFC games. Um, Mixed martial arts is actually just really just too complicated to put into a video game, so these boxing games are actually kind of cool. But um, this gameplay here, I'm actually going to be playing as Muhammad Ali. I'm playing against Mike Tyson, and I'm going to show you guys a couple of things about this game and everything. Uh, one of the things that I really like about this game is how you can actually play to a, uh, a fighter's uh, styles here. And you saw at the start of the video uh, that I showed you guys that the... Uh, the difficulty was set on the highest difficulty, so I'm not just playing against, you know, a really bad AI or anything like that. Um, and I've set it on 15 rounds, and I've set it on 3-minute rounds, and all that good stuff. And uh, this first game I'm going to show you guys, uh, you see I'm getting my ass beat on the ropes here, but this is actually part of my game plan here. Something Muhammad Ali was really famous for back in the day was the rope dope He did it in the Rumble and Jungle and everything like that, and uh, he was actually just... Uh, what he does is he actually just gasses you out. He leans on the ropes and in real life, uh, leaning against the ropes and somebody comes up and hits you and stuff, uh, just, it's, it's a science really because as they hit you, the energy doesn't stop in your body. It goes through the ropes, which means it doesn't really do as much damage to you, but it can still hurt you pretty bad. Um, having Mike Tyson go against you and using this method really means that you're just going to sit back and just take a lot of damage. Um, because Mike Tyson trained to punch through people. Um, but anyway, I just thought this would be something more interesting to look at, uh, considering I haven't really posted anything, um, except for Halo Wars in a little while here. Um, so I'm just gonna pretty much just commentate some of this, and I do two games here. Um, and hopefully you guys will like it. If you guys like stuff like this, I can post some more of it, because it was just, it was kind of fun playing something other than Halo Wars for a change. Um, you see here that I'm getting smashed by Mike Tyson, but that's just what happens. Uh, in the first round, I committed too much to the strategy, so I ended up blocking way too much and not using my mobility, using my jab. So he trapped me up against the ropes and stuff, and... Uh, once Mike Tyson starts hitting you, even if you're blocking and stuff, you still take damage and everything, which is really a pain. But um, I'm going to show you guys, because this is probably one of the hardest people to use this against in the game, because he has so much power, so much strength and everything, unless you make a custom character. Um, I'd probably make a custom character that has a hundred of everything and make one that uh, throws a lot of punches and one that's more conservative. That way you can kind of practice both sides of this. Um, I got the game... Uh, having oh that was a pretty good uh, slip there and I'll teach you guys some of that stuff in a little bit um, but um, I got this game before uh, well after it had been out for a little while and with EA normally the servers go to shit um, after a while so I haven't even looked to see if I can even play this game online or anything if if I can still play it online I'd like to play with some of you guys if any of you guys have this because um, it's really a lot of fun and everything and I don't really know if there's like a meta to this game if there's, I'm sure there is. I'm sure that there's one fighter that's really, really good online in each weight class. And if you pick that fighter, if you do a certain strategy, you can win and stuff. So, um, but yeah, uh, what I'm going to show you guys right here is actually the stamina advantage that I'm going to be able to gain on Mike Tyson. It's really how I'm going to be able to win this fight. Um, is that I'm going to sit back and let him gas himself out really because he throws a lot of punches. He throws a lot of power punches, which drains your stamina a lot. And even if he wins like the first round, two rounds, three rounds, even the first five rounds, um, if you're set on 12 rounds here, as long as he doesn't win any of them like 10-7 or 10-8, um, because you'll have to match that at some point uh, if he wins about half the rounds. Um, 
If he doesn't do that, you'll be able to at least uh, earn one point higher than him every single time after uh, you get past his peak, and you guys are going to see what I'm talking about here in a little bit. But as of right now, you see how low his stamina bar is getting, and when his stamina does get pretty low and stuff, then um, I do start going and playing offense and stuff, trying to do some damage because it's just boring sitting back here making a miss the whole time. But um, you don't want to chase him and just throw all your stamina at him either. You kind of just want to let him just gas himself out. Uh, try to slip, uh, and you'll see that's one of my favorite things to do in this game is to uh, do a slip to the right side or to the inside and um, throw my uh, throw my right hand because that hits with about the same power as a power punch but doesn't use as much stamina. So uh, what that does is it allows you to hit harder and uh, still maintain your stamina here. Um, also another thing you can do if they're playing more defensively after they figured out and stuff another way to take their stamina away from them is to hit them in the body um, in all the boxing games I've ever played really hitting to the body and stuff was never really as beneficial um, except for the later boxing games like fighting around three and uh, four and champion um, the body shots actually do some work and it's actually pretty good to go for the body in this game um, just because you can gas them out and you can make them uh, you can make him really slow here. So, uh, with Mike Tyson, it's really easy because, uh, especially if you play with somebody that's got a uh, gas tank like Muhammad Ali and somebody that is really quick on their feet, somebody who's got really good reach, uh, cardio, and everything like that, it's just going to be really easy for you to do this. Um, but you see, I'm just trying to circle around. You really don't want to be in the corner if you can help it, um, even though being in the corner is not really the worst thing with this kind of strategy. Um, but you want to be able to move to either side if you want to have an option out just in case he does stun you or something. Um, so I try to stay in the middle of the ropes if I can help it. And if nothing else, I will get into the corner and uh, fight my way out or throw some body shots and try to wear his stamina down so he can't chase me down when I go to leave. Um, but you see how low uh, his stamina bar is compared to mine right now. He's got about as, he's got about twice as much uh, black empty space on his uh, stamina bar as I have right now which means I'm building advantage pretty quick. Even though I'm throwing punches and even though I'm doing damage and everything, I'm still, uh, I still have more stamina than him. And if you can throw these body shots when you're in the corner like this, uh, that most of the time can help you push them off because they'll run out of stamina really fast. Because uh, normally in this game, if you throw body punches, if they do go to punch you at the same time, your body punch is going to hit their uh, punch to your head is going to hit, but you're going to do damage and drain stamina at the same time, so you're pretty much going to be doing more damage than them. Um, the only problem with this strategy is having people that try to put you in a corner um, and try to land body shots and stuff on you, because um, that's pretty much the counter to this, is to uh, just match out stamina with the other person. Um, but Muhammad Ali, obviously, he has the advantage because his... Uh, his recovery and just his stamina in general is just better um, just because he always fought for the uh, the long haul or uh, in the games he's designed to fight for the long haul so um, you see that I'm able to start stunning Mike Tyson with the body shots and everything and just to let you guys know I have a bunch of strategies in this game and stuff and at this point I'm really just fucking around because I already know that I've got it one um, but another hint for you guys is when you do have them stunned like that um, and your bar is flashing, you can throw as many punches as you want and it doesn't affect your stamina at all. So uh, use that to uh, either do a lot of damage, like if you're trying to knock them out, you can. But if you're still trying to just win the, uh, the long haul and everything, just go in and just start winging uh, body shots. Because if you can go and start winging body shots while you have unlimited stamina, you'll be able to drop their stamina pretty damn far. And you see here at this point, I'm able to really just do whatever. Um, and I'm just going to mess around with them for a little bit and just uh, fuck around. But anyway, the um, I've got a couple other games I'm thinking about just doing a couple of gameplays like I'm doing for this. <laughs> and I'm just taunting and stuff while they're doing all this but um i'm thinking about doing some gameplays for different games and stuff that i normally don't play uh just to get a little bit of different content out there so you guys don't get bored watching the same stuff all the time plus it's it's pretty nice playing uh new stuff every here and uh every here and there not really new games but just something a little different than halo wars um but i've only posted uh call of duty and halo wars before I believe I don't think I've posted anything well I posted that uh, that game about the shark thing but I don't think anybody even watched that that much but um, but yeah uh, if you guys have any suggestions I have uh, I can post a list of the games that I have because I have a shit ton of games I have like 30 
I think I have like 36 uh, 360 games. So I have a lot of stuff that I could be playing. Um, so just uh, let me know if you guys want to see anything. Uh, if I do post that list, you can just pick something out of there. But um, I'm going to post a couple of different uh, games because... I feel like you guys might be getting a little bored of all the Halo Wars stuff. Plus, I'm not really finding any really good games. Uh, I played I played against some decent people, and there were a couple of times we played against people. We lost against some, like, uh, QB and his friend. I don't remember his name or anything, but uh, they played against us and stuff, and we played them on Labyrinth, and we're just like, man, fuck Labyrinth. Labyrinth is just gay. Uh, me and O'Malley just really hate that map. We wish it was DLC so we could uninstall it. <laughs> So we don't have to play it anymore. Um, and then we played another game because I had been, um, I had family and stuff come up and everything. So I wasn't really, uh, I wasn't really in Halo Wars mode. So I was kind of rusty because I hadn't played in like a week almost. And uh, we played on Terminal Moraine and I ended up missing my Pelican by like an inch. So uh, they ended up, the other team got the other side and they got the north side reactor uh, side of the map. And we just ended up resigning because, like, after you dropped the 200 and you didn't even have a chance to get it, like, it was just really gay. Um, and then we had a couple of fun games and everything, some customs and stuff like that, but nothing really, nothing really out there. Um, I already talked to O'Malley and stuff. I think we're going to start trying to do these open lobbies and stuff on Monday. So, um, tomorrow is Sunday, so... Uh, I'll have to check my, actually I'll check my schedule here in a minute, but I believe that I work on Monday, but I believe I'm off by five o'clock, uh, which means that I could be home and, and, uh, ready to play some Halo Wars and stuff by around five thirty or six. Uh, so if I'm going to do that, I'll probably post a, uh, video tomorrow at some point and, uh, let you guys know what's going on. And uh, I'll get a hold of O'Malley tonight. And everything's going. If everything goes down on Monday, um, I'll post a video giving you guys some information on how to get in on that. If you guys want to play some, um, but I don't really know. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Um, I'm gonna try to make it so uh, we play with people we haven't played against before. Uh, just to make it so it'd be a little interesting. Um, because playing against the same people all the time is kind of lame. Um, and we'll try to make the teams kind of balanced. So I'll go through, and if I see people that I've like seen their name before, I kind of know if they're good or if they're bad or something like that. We'll try to get some of the good people in with some of the. Um, we'll try to get the better people in together, so we're able to do stuff. And you see here, I was using uh, the fact that I had unlimited stamina there to pound with the jab. And uh, really, you don't want to pound with the jab because it really doesn't do any damage. Uh, your j uh, your jab is really good for stunning people in this game, but it doesn't really do a lot of damage. But you see there, I can just keep my left hand out there and keep him off and just do whatever I want at that point. Um, I'm just taunting because there's nothing really to do. But yeah, um, I'll actually text O'Malley as soon as I'm done with this commentary here. And... Um, I'll definitely uh, look at trying to do a custom uh, lobby on Monday. Today's the 19th, I believe. So tomorrow will be the 20th, so it'll be the 21st that we would be doing it probably. So uh, go ahead and mark that on your calendar. It'll be around uh, 5.30 or 6 Eastern Standard Time on uh, the 21st October here. And um, if I can get O'Malley in to do it and everything, and I'll try to get another couple of people to help run it and everything and get the... Uh, get the custom lobby together so we can have a lobby of uh, people playing with me and O'Malley and then a lobby of people playing like standby if they want to play 1v1s or they want to play some warm up twos and stuff like that and we'll play uh, we'll play some 3v3 stuff we'll play some 2v2s and we'll pretty much just play for a couple of hours and we'll just see if we can get any good gameplay out of it um, if we do get some good gameplay we'll post it and everything and I think it'll be cool uh, just to meet some new people and talk to them and get to play with people so uh, yeah if you want to do that uh, you can send me a message on here uh, please don't reply in a comment if you want to be in it go ahead and send me a message with your gamer tag and stuff and um, I might actually just use that as a way to get people to come in um, but I don't know. I might post the video on Sunday giving you guys more details about how I'm going to do it and everything. And then uh, Monday we'll just get the show on the road here. But anyway, I think this is the round where I decide that I'm going to go ahead and put them away. Because I already showed you guys that uh, 
really all you have to do is get the um if you see uh during your break in between your rounds and stuff it'll tell you how much stamina you have uh percentage wise and once you get a comfortable uh stamina difference there um you can pretty much wail on them or you can sit back and just ride that out and outpoint them it really just depends on what you want to do if you're going against a power puncher normally i'd probably try to sit back and just play conservatively and just pick them apart and just win by points or at least uh, start getting the majority of the rounds and points that way if you do uh, get overzealous and you can get knocked down and stuff losing one round wouldn't fuck you over so um you could do that or you can just keep pushing in either way it goes uh make sure to maintain your uh make sure to maintain your uh your lead that you're throwing some body punches and stuff too because throwing the body punches is gonna make sure that they have less stamina than you at all times and that's gonna be really beneficial for you guys and um it's just gonna be really good so i just scored a knockdown there for you those of you guys that just saw that there and right now i keep stunning him and he keeps turtling up and I can't really do anything so I'm gonna try to smash through this defense here and see if there's anything I can do I'm gonna try to lay him out with an uppercut I think and there it is Bill got that two-piece that double left uppercut boom Mike Tyson eat that shit um, that guy's done <laughs> that he's on the floor I think that's the end of that fight um but yeah, I just, oh, I just got a drink and I completely forgot about it. So if I'm quiet for a minute, it's because I'm quenching my thirst. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's the end of this fight here. This is actually going to be a pretty decent uh, video as far as the length of the video goes and stuff. And I'm just, uh, you see here on the scorecard and everything, I don't, I don't remember if I was up by points or if I tied. I believe I was up. Um, but really, uh, even if you're down by points by the fourth or fifth round using the strategy, you can still make it work for you. Um, and against people and stuff, uh, doing the slips and stuff, the slip counters and everything is going to be really good for you. So now I'm going to flip the tables around here and I'm going to play against Ali with Tyson. Uh, just so you guys aren't just like, well, Ali's the most overpowered guy in the game other than Isaac Frost. Like, shut the fuck up. So I'm going to try a uh, different strategy here. I'm going to try to uh, switch the tables, but I. Uh, I want to make sure that he wouldn't be able to uh, kill me as far as my gas tank goes. So I'm going to show you guys how to play a stamina um, a stamina war with a guy that has more stamina uh, than you and how to make sure that you can maximize uh, the fact that the other guy has more reach and stuff like that. So uh, go ahead and explain the strategy here in a second. What you want to do, you definitely want to use your slips. You want to use your counter punches and stuff uh, and try to maintain as much as your stamina as you can in the first round uh, because the first round they're probably uh, you'll probably be able to see what kind of strategy they're going to use if they're going to use the fact that they're quicker than you and just try to pick you apart in the first round and try to overpower you in the first round you can kind of turtle up and just use the fact that you have uh, you have more endurance and stuff than they do and um, just kind of sit back and you know you won't take that much damage um unless they're throwing a lot of haymakers and stuff and if they are they're going to gas out pretty quick but what you want to do is go ahead and start making uh you want to start pushing up and you want to be throwing body shots if you're throwing body shots he's either going to have to block them and he's still going to take damage um it's just not going to be as much damage or you can throw them and you're either going to land them or you're going to catch them while he's going to be throwing a punch and it'll count as a counter punch and counter punches to the body do a shit ton of damage. So you guys are going to see how this works after a little while. I'm just going to wear him down, make sure he doesn't really have much of a stamina advantage over me. Uh, we're going to check the points a little bit later, and we'll see how I do and everything as far as uh, as far as it goes. Because if you're going to use a power puncher like this and try to go into the later game and stuff, you have to take away their stamina in the early game and keep them down. Because if you can't, they'll regain their stamina before you can. They'll end up having a bigger... Uh, a better uh, gas tank than you and they're going to be able to just uh, sit back and just kind of play conservative pick you apart and win by points on top of winning the points in the first round so um, with the, both of these strategies you can expect to lose the first two or three rounds as far as points go but uh, with the strategy with Muhammad Ali or with anybody that's an endurance based fighter if you can kind of sit back a little bit it's kind of turtle up um, try to let them gas themselves out and stuff as long as you don't get knocked out in the first three rounds uh, even if you do lose the first three rounds as far as points go, 
Um, you can pile the points on later, uh, but the biggest thing is getting the stamina advantage and making sure that you use it to your advantage. So don't get like a 15 point stamina advantage and then start swinging haymakers. You need to sit back and kind of capitalize on that. And you want to drop their stamina to a point where uh, the boxer has noticeable uh He's noticeably going to be uh, starting like the round a little slower and everything. You'll see that he's not really, you know, bouncing around the ring and stuff. They're kind of like real sluggish with everything they do. That's when you want to start pushing in and putting it on them because if you do it before that, they can counter punch you and stuff and just drop you right down to where they're at. So you want to get them to a comfortable spot there and then just start going at it. But anyway, uh, you guys can kind of see that for yourselves here. If I see anything while I'm uh, sitting here commentating and stuff, then we'll kind of see what happens. Um, but you see there, I did get a pretty nice punch off, and I'm opening a drink here because I'm thirsty as a motherfucker. Uh, anyway, uh, you'll see here the first round. Stamina-wise, we're going to be about even. I believe I'm like one point higher, um, but that doesn't really mean anything. Um that one point of difference isn't going to be anything but if you can make uh because mike tyson in any really any power puncher in this game for that matter they lose their stamina really fast if you can make muhammad ali lose his stamina just as fast as you um muhammad ali can't operate on low stamina because he well any endurance fighter most of the time they don't have the strength to be able to beat you once their stamina is gone because once their stamina is gone they're going to be slow which means they can't use their mobility they can't stay away they can't use the jab they can't do anything really um just because they're not going to be able to keep the distance they're not going to be able to keep the distance apart you're going to be able to close the gap get inside land body shots land hard punches and stuff even if it's only two punches uh because this guy's only going to be able to throw jabs he doesn't have the uh he doesn't have hard hands like you got the heavy hands and everything so um just try to take the stamina away and just go from there and see what you can do. Um, but anyway, more about this, uh, more about this customs lobby thing. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably stick to the thing that I was thinking about before in the other video when I talked about it. Um, if you guys wanted to be in the customs, uh, the open lobby or whatever, um, you guys could send me a message on either on here or on Xbox Live. I'll write all the gamer tags down and stuff and I'll pick uh I'll probably I'll probably stop the list. Uh once I get home I'll write down all the names and stuff and make a selection and I'll message the people and everything. Once we get a few games out of the way, if we don't have a lot of people, you know, like Burns, I want to play with you, or O'Malley, I want to play with you guys, or, you know, stuff like that. If the lobby's not filling up and everything, then we'll end up just having an Xbox Live lobby and people sit in there while talking, just bullshit around and do customs, and we'll break off and do, like, 2v2 parties where we can, you know, we can just mess around and just do whatever. Um, so I'll make it fun and everything, we'll make it work and everything, not really going to put a whole lot of structure into it, but uh, pretty much just send me a message on uh, on here or Xbox Live if you guys want to uh, be a part of the uh, be a part of the open lobby. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be off work, but I'm not going to be here, I'm actually going to go uh, meet my girlfriend to go see my kid and everything, and uh, once I get home and everything, I'll check my messages and everything, write everybody's uh, gamer tags down and everything, uh, make sure I give you guys... Uh, plenty of opportunity to be in the custom lobby if you want to. Um, it doesn't really matter if you guys, like, I don't know, like, I don't want a bunch of, like, super try-hard people getting in the lobby and stuff. But, I mean, it's bound to happen. So, I mean, anybody's pretty much welcome. Just um, expect that there's going to be some people that want to try super hard and some people that don't really give a shit and some people that aren't good at the game. Like, there there will probably be a wide variety of people if I even get people in the lobby. Um, so, we'll just kind of see how it works and everything and uh, just see how it goes, but um, I'll let you guys know for sure if we're going to do it uh, tomorrow, uh, which will be Sunday the 20th, I believe. Um, I'll let you guys know then for sure, uh, because I still have to get a hold of O'Malley and see if he even wants to do it. Um, I'm pretty sure he would be down for it, though, because I think Monday is the day that he has off and everything, so we'll kind of see. Um, but yeah, you guys can see here the stamina war. I'm starting to uh, pour it on a little bit. I'm going to be able to get some kind of a stamina advantage here. And if you can get a stamina advantage with Mike Tyson over Muhammad Ali, then you're obviously doing something right here. Um, and just for any of you guys that are going to be criticizing me and stuff like that, these games, like I didn't try super hard in any of these games. This is just me fucking around against the computer. Um, 
the AI in this game, I used to think it was pretty hard, but it's really not that hard. The only the only person I really had any problems with in this game ever was Isaac Frost in the campaign. And if you guys haven't played this game, Isaac Frost is the fucking hardest boss I've ever had to beat in any game. Um, I tried to play... I beat him the first playthrough, then the second playthrough, I played on the same difficulty. I could not beat him, and I don't know why. Um, I can't imagine playing it on the hardest difficulty. I didn't play the campaign on the hardest difficulty yet. I plan on doing it at some point, though. Um, maybe if I can't find any other games to do, maybe I'll do a series on the uh, the story mode. Maybe I'll do like a fight or two and make those into videos and stuff. We'll kind of see. But Anyway, you see here that Muhammad Ali is going to be trying to throw... Uh, He's trying to throw combos and stuff, and that's going to drop his stamina pretty low. And if I can catch him with a body shot or two while he's throwing these combos, his stamina is going to be completely gone, which means he has to back up or he's going to get knocked out. So uh, you pretty much force them into playing defense at this point. And playing defense with Muhammad Ali or any endurance fighter, for that matter, with low stamina – Stuff like this is going to happen, where you're going to be able to just roll up on them. You're going to be able to do a shitload of damage, and there's nothing they can do about it. And you see here that uh, while he was stunned and while I had the unlimited stamina, you go in, you just spam him with body punches and stuff. If some of them get through, you can end up knocking them down from it. If not, you're still going to hack away at their stamina and their uh, the health to their body and stuff like that. But um, just keep an eye on his stamina bar and stuff when I land these shots to the body. Uh, he does block a lot of them, and that's to be expected. And I just got fucking flash, uh, flash knocked down there. I remember that happening while I was recording, and I was kind of upset because I didn't want to have to play all this over. Um, but yeah, uh, trying to shut this guy down pretty hard. Um, and once you get to the point that you've got a pretty good stamina advantage against Ali, you can kind of sit back and attack him on full stamina. Um, and what I mean by that is just kind of sit back, let him throw a few combinations to try to score on you, maybe hit him with a counter punch uh, to the body to drop all the stamina, and then go in while you have full stamina and just push on him with a couple jabs and stuff. Once you start getting low, just go ahead and back off. And just keep doing the same thing. Keep trying to hit to the body uh, just because the body... Uh, does it does a lot of damage and you can knock them out with body shots but on top of that you can also drain their stamina um, and since you're trying to play the stamina game like this um, it's just really good to throw body shots there um, but I can't stress enough how important it is to uh, to do the slips and stuff in this game if you can if you flick the stick that's all you have to do you flip uh, flick the left stick down or up it'll give you a different angle to punch at and that uh, if it lands, it's a counter punch 99% of the time. And it just helps you do a lot of damage without spending a lot of energy. So I'd suggest you guys kind of look at that and everything if you guys do play this game. Um, but I believe at this point, I can't really read because it's super small on my TV, but I think he's ahead by quite a bit on the judge's scorecard. Um, but the thing is with playing the uh playing this kind of game where you're going to be just wearing them down and stuff it's just going to be a slow and steady process where you're going to have to just keep pushing keep doing what you're doing um even though it looks like you're losing um because you're you're losing right now on the scorecard but once he has no stamina and he's a stamina fire uh trying to operate on low to no stamina um He's going to start buckling, and he's not going to be able to do anything. And you're going to pile points on and You guys are going to see it a little bit later. Um, one of my rounds, I think I end up uh, breaking out like a 10-7 on the scorecard uh, just because I beat him so bad in one of the rounds. Um, and I I want to say with these fights and stuff, I, I could have easily ended the fights a lot sooner than I did because I have, uh, I have very aggressive... Uh, strategies within the first two three rounds I can do the same kind of thing but just do a shitload of damage at the same time um, but if somebody can weather it then they can beat me if they can last past the sixth round then they'll end up winning um, but really the um, the these strategies are just fun to use against the computer and stuff because the computer if you try like really hard the computer's really not that hard at all on this game so I'd have to go online to get some kind of challenge here, but I don't even know if the server's still up. I'd still have to check it, but um, this game is just a lot of fun. So if you guys haven't played it yet, haven't picked up a copy, uh, you can probably get it pretty cheap, and it's really a lot of fun. If you guys like boxing, if you don't like boxing, it's, I don't know, it's just lots of fun. Um, also played a little bit of Madden the other day. It was actually pretty fun as well. Um, 
I don't have cable or anything, so I can't really watch any of the football that's going on right now. I really wish I could, um, but I can't watch any of the football right now, and it's kind of depressing. But um, so I've been playing a little bit of that, and it's been pretty fun. People keep getting them on and blocking the time that's left and everything. I remember being kind of annoyed with that when I was playing because uh, I couldn't see how much time was left. But see here, I'm going to be able to start landing body shots and just knock them down with body shots. And when it gets to that point, uh, you can do so much damage just by throwing the body shots that you don't even have to go for the head anymore. So... Now I'll just kind of sit back with Mike Tyson and show you guys you can outpoint Muhammad Ali even from a distance once the stamina and stuff is not a factor. Because once the stamina is not a factor and you have the stamina advantage and you uh, you end up being uh, the aggressor, that's when you'll start piling points on. And you guys will see it. I'll be able to do a shit ton of damage and not really have to even try that much at all. But all you have to do with Mike Tyson really in this kind of situation, keep your guard up until you're close enough. That because Mike Tyson doesn't have really long arms, uh, and that's just really if you're fighting anybody with a longer reach than you, you want to keep your block up so they can't just pick you apart on the way in. Uh, use your head movement and everything, and just get in on the inside and just start dealing lots of damage, and you'll be fine. Um, starting this round and everything, I'm gonna do the same kind of thing just block on the way in and everything, come in. Uh, throw some body shots early to go ahead and drain his uh, bar so he's not going to have any stamina for the round and then just start doing work. Because you see, he's got like no stamina. Even when his stamina comes all the way back to what he can possibly have, just his stamina pool is super low right now. So there's really like, <laughs> it's really just sad how much he he's trapped right now. He really just can't do anything. I can just keep throwing these uppercuts to the body and he can't do anything. Um, but yeah. Um, this was a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, just a little change of pace here from the Halo War stuff that I was posted and everything. Um, show you guys that that's not all I play. <laughs> but uh been doing a lot of work and stuff too, so I haven't really been on the Xbox too much. Those of you who are uh, frequently in my lobbies and stuff, you guys know that I haven't been on the past uh, week really because my, uh, my grandma and my sister came up to visit me from my home state. And I uh, came up here to see the baby. So we were pretty busy with all that. Had a lot of fun and everything. Even though I had to work every day they were up here. But um, I think it'll be... I think it'll be lots of fun when they come up again and stuff. But normally when that kind of stuff goes on, I'm just not on my Xbox as much. I was watching uh, Death Note with my sister, actually. She she does not like animes at all. And I was just like, I promise you, this is not like any other anime you've ever seen. And she was like, no, I don't want to watch it. But first night I turned it on, uh, we got to the ninth episode before she was ready to go to bed. So uh, And she wasn't even ready to go to bed. Then I had to like force her to stop watching this shit. But it's a really good series. That... Uh, I talked about it in another video. If you guys haven't seen Death Note, it's a really good series. You guys should go check it out. Um, but yeah, just picking Muhammad Ali apart here. There's really nothing he can do because I'm just going to keep piling it on and he's not going to have enough stamina to fight me. Um, and at this point, uh, he doesn't really have enough stamina to move, which means I can constantly hit him with punches. Even if he's blocking, I can constantly hit him with punches. Because in this game, the block button is, isn't an all-ends-all as far as playing defense. Like you, Some of the punches and stuff get through. And at this point, if I hit him with anything, he can go down at any moment. So as long as I just keep landing a couple body shots every round and just keeping his stamina low for the round, even if his, uh, even if his pool is kind of full, um, if you can drain his stamina at the early part of the fight, it's really easy to pick him apart. Um, but you have to be careful. If you give him a really good round, he can get a pretty good amount of his stamina back through the recovery. Um, I think the highest I've seen is like a 12% or something like or 11%. Um, they can gain quite a bit if you just sit back and don't. You don't really even have to attack that much as long as just like what you do in the fight. Um, it was like really effective use of your stamina and stuff. They will reward you with more stamina. So that's a way to get back into the fights and stuff. Um, so you don't necessarily have to do a shit ton of work uh, to regain stamina. You just have to do good with what stamina you're using. So kind of sit back and don't spend your stamina, and then you'll get some back. Um, 
and that's how you can kind of recover from one of these situations with uh, if I was playing against somebody that knew what they were doing they probably would not have played this the same way they probably would have uh, instead of trying to attack me around four and five and stuff like I think it was maybe three and four uh, he was trying to fight me off and stuff instead of doing that he should have just kind of set back and uh, tried to tried to maintain as much stamina as he can kind of use his jab instead of trying to knock me out but um, not really much this guy's going to be able to do now I'm just going to sit here and just ooh that's the end of the fight I remember that too yep caught him with that right then I got that angle on it through that uh, the slip right and it was pretty much over from there so it's nothing he's going to be able to do I don't know he's going to fall over and he's going to be done so uh, the video is going to be coming to an end soon to go ahead and recap with you guys on um, the strategy and stuff with this is just is just basic boxing if you guys know anything about boxing all this stuff made sense to you um, really fun game you guys should check it out also uh, stay tuned uh, to uh, catch the video I might post one uh, talking about open lobby if I do the open lobby and stuff uh, just kind of stay tuned for that to see if it's going to happen and everything but anyway uh, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one, and you guys take it easy.